motion to come back to an open second. You motion to come back and open second. Good. Second. Second. Good. Good. Right. Release. Commissioner Foss. Yes. Commissioner Morgan. Yes. Commissioner Pickens. Yes. Commissioner Prince. Yes. Commissioner Wright. Yes. Vice Chair Wicks. Yes. Chair Lumar. And uh, you need to make a motion to add add to the agenda. Resolution, we're going to add a, a resolution authorizing the execution of purchase agreement of, with one or more deeds of bargain with sale with OMD Enterprise LLC and it's assigned for the convey of certain properties located at 340 High Street and 444, 446, and 448 Court, Court Street. I need a, a motion to add this to the agenda. Motion to add resolution uh, 22 59. Thanks, Sean. Second. Second. Good, thank you. Right, Mr. Kelly's. Commissioner Koss. Yes. Commissioner Morgan. Yes. Commissioner Pickens. Yes. Commissioner Prince. Yes. Commissioner Wright. Yes. Vice Chair Wicks. Yes. Chair Lamont. Yes, good, very good. Okay. Yeah. Resolution. Do I have that one on the uh, sale of the sale of the ports of property? Is that resolution in my package? It should be 2022 <laughs> Everybody. It's under development. Under development. Okay. Thank you. Uh, resolution 2022-52, resolution authorizing execution and purchase agreement with one or more deeds of bargain and sale with Realty Property Group and or society for the development of certain property located at 2400 Ports of Boulevard, uh, Ports of Virginia. I need a motion. It's so moved. Yep, thank you, Vice Chair. Second. Second, thank you, Cliff. Cliff. Right? Please. Commissioner Cause. Yeah. Commissioner Morgan. Yes. Commissioner Pickens. Yes. Commissioner Prince. I'm confused in regards to. We're voting that we're selling the property to the developer who's going to build those homes. What's in Boulevard? Okay. Yes. Commissioner Wright. Yes. Vice Chair Wicks. Yes. Chair Lelani. Yes. And the land resolution is a 20, 2259, which is the one we added. Resolution authorizing the execution of a purchase agreement with one or more deeds of bargain and sale with OMD Enterprise LLC and or its assigns for the conveyance of certain properties located 340 High Street, 444, 446, and 448 Court Street. I need a motion. Yes, yeah, thank you, Vice Chair. Thank you, Sakita. Okay. Commissioner Koss? Yes. Commissioner Morgan? Yes. Commissioner Pickens? Yes. Commissioner Prince? Yes. Commissioner Wright? Yes. Vice Chair Wicks? Yes. Chair Lamont? Yes, very good. Yeah. Right. Any, uh, we'll go around the room. Ma'am, you got any final say before we go home? Thanks for forward. Thank you. Thanks very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Yep, yep, yep. Look. Uh, a little bit. I went to San Diego um, to the conference. Right. And um, it was very, very in debt with a lot of great information. Um, but the biggest thing that stood out to me was just the city of San Diego it, itself and the city government and their focus on housing. And um, the mayor came to the conference and gave a very well passionate um, speech in reference to um, his focus on housing and a lot of different pushback that he's received um throughout the city on the um outside thinking of you know what they've done with converting old factories and um old hotels and um spot bills and um a lot of different things uh for homeless and for low income and um after uh, i i'm assuming it was a, a good track record of the initial launches of these things, he's starting to get buy-in from a lot of the different naysayers. Uh, so I just say with the city that size and um, that vibrant, that if you know they can do it and push past the naysayers, which I know are probably larger than our city within itself, that you know we can continue to do what we're doing and you know think outside of the box and bring you know more housing to the city and for the residents. Okay. Sure. Um, nothing except for welcome again. 
Or you like to have a fourth? Troy. Thanks. Uh, it was a it was a tough month politically. Uh, I thought for this organization. I I, I don't understand <laughs> what the uh, our, our relationship with the council. I know Mr. Bland is trying hard to bring the two two in, and uh, I know uh, Mr. Mr. Page and I just I don't know where all skepticism is coming from. Uh, four years ago. This organization was approved 1.5 million to support the uh, efforts that we're having at Lexington Place. All right. Uh, a couple of years ago, we used $300,000 of it for some of the work that we're doing in Lexington Place. So we still had, a, in my opinion, a credit of 1.2 million. Right. Uh, we were asked by the city because of the ARPA money that was available to present our proposal for that 1.2 million, and this was part of a 40 million dollar package. It's going to take to build the rest of Lexington Place. Mr. Page, CFO, Mr. Bland, Ms. Winston have already secured 38.8 million of the financing that we need. So the 1.2 was just, hey, it's nice to have it. Let's throw it in city support for it. It'll be good. All right. So uh, Mr. Page went up and presented the discussion. Uh, Councilman Whitaker came back and said, hey, you guys got all kinds of money. You know, why, why do you need 1.2 million dollars? And basically, again, what was confusing to me was they'd approved it four years ago, right? We included this part of the package. You always like to show, in my opinion, as a financial person, you always like to show lenders that the city support behind you on the projects, not just by voting them, but by having some money in the state. So we got to listen to that argument about how we had so much money and why do, why do we need any more money, all right? Uh, and then uh, it went to, well, you guys need to show us your financials, all right? Uh, I, I thought that was an even bigger challenge uh, that they were asking for financials. So I, I told them at the time, what do you want? We'll have it on your desk the next morning, because as you all know, we have financials, right? So as we started discussing it, it started, well, we just don't want one year. We want two years. And I got up and I said, well, you know, we can give you as many years as you want. They're all audited financials. You know, we pay a lot of money for these financials. And uh, Councilman Battle came back and said, uh, well, you know, you guys can lie and tell all kinds of stories on your financials. All right. So I, I took that very personal. And uh, so you all know how I feel about it. I, I told uh, uh, Councilman Battle that I'm a certified public accountant. All right. I, I am licensed in the state of Virginia. My expertise is in government accounting. And since we have worked real hard on our financials, we're very proud. Of it. HUD looks at those financials. Virginia Housing looks at those financials. Every partnership that we have looks at those financials, and we wouldn't be able to get a nickel in this town if we didn't have strong financials. And if you all remember, a year and a half ago, we got a stellar letter from HUD about our financial position, right? Congressman, Councilman Battle came back and said, I'm not calling you a liar, Bruce. Well, just by saying that, all right, mm -hmm. I took offense to it. So I said, if you all would like any help, since I am a CPA, if you'd like me to help you review those financials, I'm more than happy to go over them with you because I wouldn't think that a few of those councilmen know anything about audited statements that they come in. Well, I just got shut down on that and we were our the vote was deferred and I don't think we've gotten it. The mayor called me after that, said not to worry. And I said, well, I'm worried. All right, because it holds up our projects, you know, just because of 1.2 million. Uh, Mr. Bland, I asked Mr. Bland, just go and pursue, just add another 1.2 to the pot. Just get the 40 million, but he, he's comfortable with waiting uh, until after the elections. I, I don't ever want us to be dependent on what elections are. I don't ever want us to be what dependent on the seven folks that are sitting out there. But as you all know, this is now the second thing we've taken the council and we've been rejected for some unusual reason that has nothing to do with housing, mm -hmm. has nothing to do with providing support for people in the city of Portland. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm just I'm just making it publicly. I'm just very confused. All right. What do we have to do when we're being told? How, I mean, this was something they asked us to do. So I have this real bad problem. That if you tell me something, I believe you, right? I just, I just I'm very confused right now. So y'all, uh, y'all know these folks. You know, if you find something out, please bring it up. But I, as I always tell y'all, I'm very proud of what y'all this. You know, I'm uh, chairman of the board and president of a few have been a few other boards. This is a very professional board. Uh, y'all have no problems <laughs> giving me your opinion, and I appreciate it. Uh, let's continue to do it. But as Miss, uh, you know, you heard Miss uh, Britt here. You know, she's concerned. But I want to go back to her that you, we are doing something. 
you know, we don't, this is not a problem admiration group, and I appreciate the question. So, sorry to belabor it. Thank you very much. Pass. We're adjourned. Okay. Thank you.